a little bit about sound now. And we have here some long tubes called boom whackers. And if you take this tube and let it hit the ground, it makes a sound. Now if I take the tube off, or the cap off, it makes a different sound. It all depends upon whether it's closed or open and the length of a tube. This is kind of how the pipe organ works. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is play a song called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I will point to our orchestra here and we will <clears throat> we will play the just the first line of the star. So C, that's G twice. G twice. <laughs> A twice. G once. F twice. E twice. D twice. C. Okay. So you can see how that made a song, didn't it? Okay, just by the length of the tube, they, they go at different frequencies, and the, the sound waves get in there and bounce back and forth, and that then is what causes the various sounds to be made. And if you're playing in a band someday or something like that, the big instruments like the tuba have a very low sound, don't they? Because they're very long when you uncoil them. And a piccolo, which is very little, has a very high sound. So sound is just generated by waves bouncing back and forth in some sort of a cavern. Just like when you talk. Your vocal cords vibrate. As air goes across them, you learn to train your vocal cords to vibrate just right, and we can make sound. <laughs> 